three, two, one. Power pillars. <coughs> one hundred oh. shoes. Ow. Ow. The oh. little caterpillar was not looking where he was going and he hurt his toes. But which one? Not this one or this one. Mom will know. I'll kiss it better, said Mom. Is it this one or 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 this one? At last. Mom found the hurt toe and kissed it better. Tomorrow, you must get some shoes. Early the next morning, the little caterpillar's mom took him to a shoe store. One hundred shoes. Please. Ouch. One hundred shoes, please, said the little caterpillar. Fifty left ones and fifty right ones. Why do you want one hundred? asked the shoe seller. Because I'm a caterpillar, which means I have a means a hundred feet said the little caterpillar. Do you want lace ups or bucket? Buckles. Buckles. Asked the shoe seller. Lace ups, please, said the little caterpillar. Lace ups are more grown up. So the little caterpillar tried shoes on until he found ones, found ones that he liked. And the shoes salesman wrapped them up. The next day, the little caterpillar put on his shoes. It took a lot, a long time. Then he had to tie up all the laces, and when at last he had finished, he had fifty-eight shoes left over. That's because most caterpillars have. Only 42 legs, said his granddad. And then it was bedtime and bedtime to start taking off the shoes again. The next morning, the little caterpillar put on his shoes again. This time he was quicker and was better at trying the laces. So after lunch, he went for a walk. Oh, mom, he cried. My shoes hurt. That's because you have no socks on, said mother. And the little caterpillar. And his aunts all began to knit socks. The next morning, the little caterpillar put on his socks. He had his lunch. Then he started to put his shoes on. Right after super, right after supper. He went for a walk. My feet feel fine now, Mom, he said.
time for bed, said his mother. So a little caterpillar took off his all took off his shoes and tumbled into bed. You can't go to sleep in your socks, said his mother. So he took off his socks as well. The next morning, the little caterpillar took at all the shoes and socks. I don't think I'll brother both bother his, he sighed. So he put his 100 shoes and his 42 socks, socks into his little wheel bar. And gave them all to friends with fewer legs. He gave he gave shoe to five spiders, four beetles, two lice, lace, and a grasshopper with socks for for the fifty spiders and with enough shoes and socks left. What a pair for two worms.